Why is the Traveler silent? It's got to be one of the most bizarre decisions that HoYoVerse has ever made. Now, before we get into this, I do want to establish that I am in fact an AR-58 player, and I have been playing the game since release. I only took one hiatus for a few months, so I have definitely experienced enough of the quests slash events to talk about this. And it makes no sense. Do you guys remember the first person shooters in the 2000s? In those games, every single time, the character that you played was a silent protagonist. We don't see that anymore, and the reason for that is that it didn't make any sense. Unless it was a creative character type game where you were supposed to self-insert, it made no sense to have the playable character be silent because most of the time, they were an established character with a personality set of their own. Bringing the conversation back to Genshin, we are all aware that Aether and Lumine already have established personalities. So why make them silent? They have voice actors. They have in-game lines. So it doesn't make any sense. Now, you could argue that, well, when they finally do speak, it'll be very impactful. Normally, I would agree with that point because Bandai Namco did something similar to this with their game God Eater. The first one. In that game, your character, which is a custom character, mind you, is silent for the entire game. But during one of the most crucial moments within the story, they speak. Later! Don't run away! Don't run away from living! That's an order! Since there was a lack of any voice throughout the entire game, this moment becomes incredibly impactful. So I can see people trying to make this point. However, Genshin throws this opportunity right out the window like three times, so the chance is already lost. Example 1. At the very beginning of the game, we have a whole cutscene of whoever you choose, Aether or Lumine, and it's about them talking about how they met Paimon and that they're going to find their sibling. How many years ago was it? I don't know, but I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone, until I met you two months ago. Implying that he or she is already not a silent protagonist. But then, they go silent for no reason. Example number two. When you finish up the Leo storyline and your character is like, Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? Like, why? This isn't a crucial story moment at all, so why make them talk here? Why not make them talk during the fight with child, or against the monster, or literally anything else? Example number three. And this is the worst contender. Spoiler warning. Three, two, one. It's when the Traveler meets their sibling. This is arguably the most important story scene for the Traveler on a personal level. And guess what? Not a single voice line. Like, why? It makes no sense. Oh, but don't worry, since Hoyoverse decided to make the Traveler silent, they inadvertently created one of my biggest pet peeves within the game. Do you want to guess what that is? Saying game! And you said the That's right, it's their decision to make Paimon talk for you! Oh, but don't worry, you get to choose between two very mundane dialogue choices every once in a while, which, by the way, are very dumb. Just take a look at this. Like, the two choices make up one sentence! Why are you making me choose?! It's like Hoyoverse couldn't make up their minds when deciding whether or not to make the Traveler silent, and instead of going one way or the other, they were like, mm, No... Uh, yeah, 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 right here is good. And now I've seen some people come up with the excuse that, Oh, well, your character doesn't know the language that well, so of course Paimon's gonna talk for you. Like, bro, that's bullshit and you know it! The Traveler was acting out a whole script in a film! <sighs> anyway, rant over. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later.